So I'm from Percona. We created Percona ExtraDB and Percona Server with ExtraDB. We do a pretty bad job, I think, uh, at the current moment of telling people what the differences between ExtraDB and the other engines are. In fact, somebody posted on our blog just today and said, do you have a fact sheet? What's the differences? Well, we don't, so I thought maybe I would just do a little um, quick talk here and, and sort of go through some bullet points. Um, before I start, I just want to say that we don't... Um, uh, independence and objectivity is a core business value of Percona. So uh, nothing that we say or write is paid for, um, and we try to recommend what makes sense for our customers, in our opinion, as uh, consultants and experts. So I just wanted to keep that uh, um, context in mind as I go through this. So Percona server with ExtraDB is actually um, an enhanced version of MySQL server. It's based on MySQL 5.0 and MySQL 5.1, um, and Percona ExtraDB is a storage engine which is derived from the InnoDB plugin. Um, we also have Percona Extra Backup for non-blocking hot online backups. Percona Server, um, I already said that it's derived from MySQL. It's 100% open source and GPL licensed. Um, it's similar to MariaDB in the sense that we're kind of peers with MariaDB. We share patches back and forth with MariaDB. MariaDB includes the, the Percona Extra DB storage engine, for example, um, and uh, our Delta just to, to give a, a sense of where we are in relationship to our Delta, is a provider of community builds, which is kind of downstream of both MariaDB and Percona Server. Um, they consume our patches and, and make community builds of them. So what are some of the enhancements in Percona Server that make it, and Percona Extra DB that make it different from the versions that you can download from dev.mysql.com? So in Percona Server, the main enhancements are the so-called slow query log enhancements. Um, these are the oldest enhancements that we've made. Makes the slow query log not a slow query log, it makes it an all queries log. The next category is user statistics, which we ported over from Google's user stats v2. Um, it shows you information about how objects are uh, exercised inside the database, missing information about users, tables, and indexes, so that you know how your queries are using those objects inside the database. So you can find out things such as are, my, uh, are all of my indexes used? ExtraDB is the storage engine derived from InnoDB plugin, um, which is built into Percona Server with ExtraDB. It's a storage engine, not a database. That's what Percona Server is. Um, and many of the changes are backported into the 5.0 series as well to help people who don't want to necessarily upgrade to 5.1. Uh, it has faster I.O. Um, you can add more read-write threads to it than the standard uh, built-in InnoDB in 5.1. It has smoother flushing and checkpointing. In the graph on the top, the red line is the extra DB, um, the red line is the InnoDB plugin doing sort of that Philadelphia turnpike kind of a thing. The line on the top is, uh, is extra DB doing a nice smooth checkpointing and flushing. We split up the global buffer uh, pool mutex into a variety of other buffer, uh, a variety of other mutexes to reduce global points of contention. And uh, I invite everybody to go to that tiny URL and reproduce our benchmark results. We look forward to doing that with uh, the new release of 5.5. Um, there's fast recovery, which also, of course, a couple of days ago was announced in 5.5 as well. Uh, looking forward to checking out the source code to that and seeing how um, 5.5's version of InnoDB uh, gained faster recovery as well. I would assume that there's been some interplay between us and Oracle on that as there has been in the past. Um, there's also fast warm-up, so you can record to disk before you shut down uh, the IDs of all the pages that were in your buffer pool, and then when you start the server back up, you can tell it to reload those things right off of the disk, and it does that very fast, and so your server is warm in minutes instead of hours or days. This is a 26 gig buffer pool. Um, you can see easily see days of, of warm-up. There's multiple rollback segments because we found that the rollback segment was actually an extremely hot point of contention in certain workloads. So um, intensive insert and delete workloads were, were really falling off in scalability. So we, we um, exercised something that was sort of lying dormant inside of InnoDB and enabled multiple rollback segments. Um, a, a serious pain point for folks who have had tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of tables was the fact that InnoDB would just eat memory until it was all gone. And so there would be many gigabytes of memory unaccounted for. We've solved that by letting you configure how much memory you want the data dictionary to use. So this is great for SaaS apps or hosting providers. Um, you also have control over the insert buffer. By default, the uh, InnoDB insert buffer is uh, it, it's not configurable. You can only tell it. Um, uh, you, 
you can't tell it how much of the buffer pool to use and it goes up to half. It also doesn't start to flush the insert records out of it until it reaches that limit. We changed that in Percona Extra DB. Well publicized by Don McCaskill was the, the changes we made to enable higher concurrency and a greater number of concurrent transactions at once. Uh, he was running into the 1,024 transaction limit and blogged about that at that tiny URL. We solved that for him, uh, what, last year, year and a half or so ago. Um, that was a nice change. You can also import and export tables, something that you can't do with the standard InnoDB. You cannot simply copy a file, even if you have InnoDB file per table, and then bring it into another server. Well, with Percona Server and Extra Backup, you can. And you can do it fully online, non-blocking, with no downtime required. You can, you can simply move tables out of one instance and move them into another. ExtraDB stores the slave position in the transaction logs so that after a crash on a slave, it'll actually overwrite those, those uh, relaylog.info files. And when the, when the uh, recovery is finished, it'll pick up again in replication at the correct point instead of replaying or having a gap in transactions. So this makes your slaves crash proof. Also, there's a really serious pain point in standard InnoDB. If there's some corruption in your data, InnoDB says, I assert and I crash the whole server. That's not a good thing to do. Um, bringing down big, big database servers for a single bit of corruption is not good. So we fixed that in ExtraDB. Um, it reports corrupt just the same way that my ASAM currently does and then keeps on working. We added a bunch more diagnostics. There's more information schema tables so that you can find out what's in your buffer pool. Very interesting question to ask. You can inspect the data dictionary, which has always been stored as tables inside of, of InnoDB, but you didn't have access to them. And you can optionally enable I.O. statistics per page so that you can find out what your I.O. is doing. Thank you.